Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you how we find the second derivative for a parametric equation in terms of the parameter. And to illustrate this, I've got this example here where we've got this parametric equation, x equals t squared and y equals t to the power 5 minus 2t cubed plus 1. Now the first thing we need to do is find the first differential dy by dx. And I'm assuming that you're already familiar with this, that you've watched the tutorials on how to do this. If not, do go back and uh, check them out. But briefly, we need to find dx by dt and dy by dt first of all. And if you do that, you should find dx by dt is 2t and dy by dt is 5t to the power 4 minus 6t squared. And then we pick up on the chain rule, that is dy by dx is equal to dy by dt times dt by dx. It's as if those dt's cancel out and leaves you with dy by dx. But most people prefer to look at it like this, where we have dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Remember, dt by dx is the same as 1 over dx by dt. So we can have this rule here. And so if we use this rule, then dy by dx will be dy by dt divided by dx by dt. And that gives us 5t to the power 4 minus 6t squared all over 2t. And then if I pull out, say, t squared as a common factor, then I get this result. And the t will then cancel into the t squared. So we end up with t times all of 5t squared minus 6 divided by 2. And if I expand that, because it will be easier in the next stage, we end up with 5t cubed over 2 and then we have minus 6t over 2, which is the same as minus 3t. OK, so now we've got this far, we now go on to the stage that I really want to show you, which is how we go about finding d2y by dx squared, the second differential then. OK, now to do this, remember this means to differentiate with respect to x, dy by dx. So that means that we need to differentiate with respect to x what dy by dx is. And in this example, you can see it's 5t to the power 3, 5t cubed, all over 2 minus 3t. Now, because this is a function of t, we can't differentiate it at the moment with respect to x. What we do, though, is we have a workaround and we basically apply the chain rule again. I'll put this in square brackets. What we do for this part, then, is differentiate with respect to t the function that we've got here, dy by dx expressed as a function of t. In other words, 5t cubed over 2 minus 3t. And then... Let's just finish this square bracket off. Because we introduce this dt, we multiply it by dt by dx. Again, it's as if these dt's cancel, just leaving me with d by dx, as we had here. So I can go ahead now and differentiate what was dy by dx, a function of t, with respect to t. And I end up with 15t squared over 2. And then for the minus 3t, that's just going to be minus 3. I'll put that all in brackets. And then we multiply it with dt by dx. Well, we know that dx by dt is 2t, so dt by dx is 1 over 2t. So if I put 1 over 2t there. And then just expanding this, we end up with 15t over 4. Remember, the t here will cancel into the t squared. And then we've got minus 3 over 2t. And that is essentially the method that we use. So 
if I just show you that method basically up here, when you're asked to find d2y by dx squared and give it as a function of the parameter, in this case t, then we have that d2y by dx squared is to differentiate dy by dx with respect to x. That's that step here. But then I take dy by dx, which is a function of t, and differentiate it with respect to t. Here we are here. And multiply it by dt by dx. And that takes you then through to your answer. Okay, well, I hope that's been of some use to you. And that is the method then that we apply for any parametric equation.